Hey, got this uh, Viofo A229 camera. Gonna try it out. So I got a hardware install kit, which uh, lets you hardwire it. And then a dual channel, 2K front and 2K rear. So um, I'm not gonna unbox it. I already got it all unboxed. So let me go over it real quick. All right, so here is everything unboxed, uh, laid out. Um, go over what it comes with. We have the camera, as you can see. Uh, front view, side, the ports. Sorry, some smears. Uh, side ports. So the rear camera will plug into here. This also has a power port here and one on the side. So you can use either one uh, to power the camera. Um, and there's a plug for an external mic and then your SD card slot and buttons on the front camera the camera can rotate so when you mount it on your windshield you can angle it up or down okay uh, rear camera this one also swivels so you can mount it you can actually have it in the back and probably turn it face it forward if you wanted to record inside the car too um, and only one plug so simple hookup one plug hookup that would be this plug so you can have either end one plugs into the front camera the other into the back whichever works best um, for the angle the 90 or not um, let's go a uh, little tool it comes with another USB wire I'm not sure why you would need another one but it comes with another one um, sticky pads so if you mess up, you got one for the back and one for the front. Uh, SD card is separate. Um, I got a, I just bought one with the camera, uh, 64 gig. Uh, probably upgrade, we'll see how long that lasts or how much it can store. And um, may upgrade to a bigger one. And then you have an SD card reader. So for your computer. Um, this is a micro SD reader and this one comes with an adapter. Um, for us Tacoma guys, I got this lens. I'm hoping uh, this will cut down from glare from the hood scoop. And then most important part we have, this is the hard wire kit. So um, free wire installation. Uh, you got ground, battery, and accessory. Um, and then this end plugs into the camera. Um, and then <clears throat> this box is for setting the low voltage cutoff so um, this is what it will turn off the camera if your battery drops below the selected voltage. So 2.4, 12.4, 12, 12.2, 12, 12, and 11.8. Um, did some testing already with this and it, it takes approximately 90 seconds. So it needs to sense low voltage for about 90 seconds and then it would cut the battery off. So if you're, you have a really good battery and you set it to 12.2, maybe the battery could run it uh, for a couple hours. That's um, at 12.2. And if it drops below 12.2, it'll turn off the camera to save your battery. This also works tandem or hand in hand with the settings. So uh, this will base it on your battery voltage. There's also a setting in the camera for a time. So it'll, it'll cut off whatever comes first. So if you have the time set for one hour on the camera, the camera will turn off after one hour. If um, if you have it set for one hour, but your battery voltage drops below 12.2, then this will cut off the power to the camera. So hand in hand, two different ways you can set it. Um, this really helps uh, to save your battery. So, all right. And, oh, and last one, it comes with USB, uh, or a cigarette power port. Um, I'll probably save this. Um, this is probably no use. Nobody wants to run this big bulky wire down to a USB cigarette port, so we'll get rid of that. All right, um, I have a power supply here. I'm going to wire up um, and we'll get this thing set up and we'll uh, show you how it runs. Go over the menu settings and then um, So just to be clear, we're gonna hardwire this, um, but we're gonna use 
our dome light circuit so it will already be fused so we don't need to add a fuse we're just going to use an existing circuit this thing takes probably one amp to run real not much so it shouldn't hurt anything